What's good? <laughs> oh my gosh, we knew this was gonna happen. We knew it. I knew it. The whole world knew it. We knew it before the season. But anyway, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Kansas City Chiefs has cut. Well, I wouldn't say cut, but has traded Alex Smith, their quarterback, to the Washington Redskins. Now, I'm laughing because we knew this was going to happen. They even said it before the season. This is why they drafted Patrick Mahomes. If Alex Smith wasn't going to take them to the promised land, they were going to trade him. And that's exactly what they did. But they wasn't the losers. Because they have a great talent in Patrick Mahomes, the Texas Tech graduate. And they seen what he did the last game of the season. He was phenomenal. He was great. Preseason, he was great. You know... Times has changed now. When, when back in the day, when you were a rookie, you 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 couldn't do nothing. Like they were on your head, you know. Welcome to the league, rookie. But now these rookies have evolved. These rookies have been playing football since they've been a young, and so no matter what level that is, no matter what level they are on, they take it the same way. Now, it might get time to do the cadence and to learn every play that you're going to do and the routes and the person you're going to throw it to, but they have found the way to do this. And we seen this coming. We knew it was going to happen. And, you know, they got Patrick Mahomes, and maybe he can take them somewhere further than Alex Smith could in years. And it seems like Alex Smith do good. But then by the end of the season or towards the end of the season, he he gets, you know, kind of remedial. He don't know who to throw it to. And it's evidence that without a good running attack, he cannot do it on his own. He can't do it. We learned that in San Francisco. We learned that. When he's with the Kansas City Chiefs, if his running back don't do not get going, he cannot be like a Aaron Rodgers or a Tom Brady, or in my case a Matthew Stafford, because Matthew Stafford can do it without a running game. He can't do it. He 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 doesn't know how to pass. He takes off every time. He say, hey, if the running attack gonna work, my running attack gonna work. I think that's just like how he gets himself going. But he can't do it. But the real losers in this trade, sadly, was the Washington Redskins. Because they added my mans to a four-year contract extension. They added Alex Smith, the guy who can't do it. The guy that was replaced by Colin Kaepernick, a rookie, that took him to a championship, probably his first ever Super Bowl that he'd been in, his first and only Super Bowl that it seems like, and they add him to a four-year contract extension. Extension, not extension, extension. And get this, he is guaranteed $71 million. Bro, why, why, what makes you think that he's better? Kirk Cousins is a bum. But he's not as much of a bum as Alex Smith. Kirk Cousins is kind of good. You know, he, he can run it, he can fling it. He might not be the best quarterback in the NFL. He might not be one of the best he might be at least like top 15, but 
he works for the Washington Redskins. He works for them. Like, he doesn't work nowhere else but for the Washington Redskins. And why would you trade away your franchise quarterback for a person that's not going to do it for you? You feel me? That's just like... That's just like trading Jimmy Garoppolo for Brian Hoyer. Or that's just like trading Marcus Mariota for um, Joe Flacco. And guaranteeing Joe Flacco 101 million. Like, I don't think Flacco's good. So that's why I'll say I put him in a sentence with Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota, in my case, is better than Joe Flacco. You know? And all the quarterbacks I just named is better than each other. So why would you trade Kirk Cousins for. A Alex Smith who has known to be a choke who does not perform well in in playoffs and by their fifth game he is trash he started off five and zero. Oh. You know, they could probably be undefeated. They could probably go to a Super Bowl. How they, What they did to the Patriots, that was just wow. And was 4-7 and seven by the end of the year. Then look, now look who's in the Super Bowl. Old time. Come on, now. But tell me what y'all think about this. I think this is stupid. I think this is dumb. I think this makes no sense. If you're going to trade somebody, trade him for somebody that's good. You know what I mean? Trade him for somebody that's good and not good for five games. And then the next games, he's all right. But yeah, tell me what y'all think. Tell me, do y'all think it was a good trade? Tell me, do y'all think it was a bad trade? Let me know down in the comment section. If you want more videos like this, want more sports news, subscribe to my channel, of course. I'm gonna always bring you sports. And that's it. Peace.